We headed into the dark zone. Show a massive current of force on the other side of this frigate. Holy shit. Any idea what that thing is? Seriously, how did the UNSC never find this? Maybe they already knew it was here all along. A portal will open, leading to the Sacred Ring. The activation of Halo will lead to the extermination of all life in the galaxy. He's now gone. Do not let them get the key. You have no chance. Now we need to find those saviors. Look no further. any later and we would have been dead. It came as soon as I could, sir. Well, that clearly wasn't soon enough. I'm sure Thomas would have made it here in half the time. Wait, Thomas? As in Thomas D-179? That's me. You're famous, man. Well, you were famous. And you are... I'm Ermic, number E-115. Recon- Cut the chatter. We need to move. Whoa. A Spartan? Never thought I'd see one of those here. I wonder where he came from. Ermac, find Major Ukra. Yes, sir. Spartan! Ha! <laughs> I see you matter, Shachinkte! I see you've done the same. Come on! I saw you get stabbed, didn't I? How did you? Well, your new friend Nova here managed to save my life at the last second. We're finally even. Indeed. Nova, Commander, we have managed to clear out the enemy forces from the base. Excellent. Now we can work at securing the city. Today will be a glorious day for the revolution. I can feel it already. Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt here, but what the hell is going on? You... you didn't tell him? I was more worried about the location of Bone. <laughs> I'll give you the short version. Some time ago, our planet was under complete covenant control. The prophets controlled every aspect of our lives. Freedom was non-existent. Finally, we revolted and a planetary revolution broke out against the Covenant. 
Obviously, they stopped the information from reaching the elites of the Covenant army off-planet. Once we were free of Covenant rule, we set up our own government. Everything was great, we felt as if we finally had our freedom, the, the freedom to control our own lives. That was until he showed up. Who's he? Colonel James Ackerson. Him and his army showed up and seized power from our government. He became the undisputed ruler. Those who oppose him were killed. just as they were in the Covenant rule. The population fears them, but us? Ha! No, not us. We are the ones who are going to stop his tyrannical campaign. We are the head of the Second Revolution. In this city, we started an uprising. Axon didn't like that too much and has now sent in an army to suppress us. If we could take this city, and the other cities may follow our example and revolt. A few of the neighboring cities are already big spoilers. Wait, what? Ackerson? From Delta UNSC? I, I know him. How long have I been out? Let's just say... a while. I just don't understand. Thomas, you know the truth about Ackerson. Mm, I guess my memory's still a little fuzzy. What do you need from me, though? Glad you asked. Aside from Bone's current location, we need your help in fighting off the enemy. Will you help us, Spartan? I guess so. What other choice do I have? You will be a hero again, Thomas. Now. We've managed to push them out of our base, but they've most likely taken up positions in the streets. Thomas. You will assist some squads in clearing a path for some race to move up. Tanks have started being dropped off in the city and we need the race to keep them out. Nova, you will work on taking back the communications building. You will both meet up at this intersection and will push up towards the other. Understood. Let's get going. Have you got any other weapons? Defense doesn't have the luxury of choice. Now let's go. Don't linger for too long. They will shoot you. Nova! Are we ever glad to see you? Do whatever this Spartan says. Have you gone insane? That's an order, soldier. Shang. Maybe he can help us. Spartans are weak. What the hell is he going to do to help?
Well, good going. You're just getting us killed. Now what are we going to do? I've got an idea. You have a hologram ability, right? Yes, that is right. Brilliant. Then here's the plan. One shot. Nicely done. I never would have thought of that. Yes, yes. He did good. Get those rifts moving up, let's go! Be on your guards. Tank! You did well, Spartan. I should have never doubted you. I see you made it. Huh, <laughs> piece of cake. We need to head to the armory. You'll find something you'll recognize very well. Let's get moving then. So tell me. Wait! Why do you need Bone? Ackerson has set up a forerunner shield around his capital. If we are to get in there, we will need to shut it down. Bone will be able to do that. Now, you found the saber. That's correct. Well, I don't know how you two are getting up there, but I see only two seats. Bone, let's go. You'll ride with me. Sweet. But I found that one. Ha! <laughs> let's go, Andrew. There should be one somewhere.
it look operational? Whoa there, Andrew. Take an assault rifle for once, eh? <laughs> You're right. Me and Bone are ready. Did you find Saber? We got one, just give us a minute. Delta, you guys all right? How's the change in atmosphere on your end? I'm good over here. Everything's normal for me. I don't breathe, but all functions are working fine. Hey Bone, you see the station over there? Yes. Whoa. What's wrong, guys? Scare Shark Corvette and Large Covenant Energy nearby. We're not in a safe area. Everybody, evasive action! Let's go, Thomas. Yeah, let's. But the whole air assault thing's not really my forte, soldier. Don't worry. It's similar to the Banshee, except sticks are inverted, and to fire, there's two buttons on top of the joysticks. Thrusters are the same, and maneuvering is slower than usual. Alright. Let's try this out, then. Hostels clear.
Let's try find Captain Jordan. Jeez, this place went through hell and back and bought a t-shirt. Captain? Quite a show you guys put on back there. I'm surprised they didn't dock and go for around five. They've attacked here before? They attacked so many times it's like an activity around here. We're still wondering why they haven't just dropped down to reach yet. Mm, they must be waiting. These elite in their bullshit journey. I was surprised to get your call. Our direct lead communicator's hardly used. Admiral Donald told us about our mission. And that was that. Once we got attacked the first time, it was terrible. We got caught so off guard and tried calling for backup, but no answer. That's strange for the Admiral not to answer you guys. After that, we knew something's up. Never did trust him and his little project. By the way, Delta Squad, right? Thomas, Joan, you are... Project Bone. <laughs> so we actually did it. Seems like you three must have gotten the short end of the stick. Since when was the Spartan system ever flawed that we have to use replaceable machines? If I may object, Captain, I'm here to assist- Stand down, robot. May I please just- Obey your superior officer and stand down. Bone, what are you doing? Seize him! Code 629 or shutdown mode. Hold. Everyone, back to your posts. The situation is dealt with. Ugh. Stupid thing packs a punch. Apologies on his behalf, Captain. That's the first time he's acted like this. That was when he started changing. That was the first time he acted out against your squad? Yeah, but it definitely wasn't the last. Record this and store it permanently. Affirmative. The people you see before you now. Myself, Admiral James O'Donnell, General Marcus Smith, and Colonel James Ackerson. We free men are your high rocks. If anyone ever says they are, you will play this file and you will ultimately obey orders from us. We are your gods. In addition to this, no matter what squad you're on, you will not show this file to anyone. Understood? Understood. Good. End transmission and go back into standby mode. Captain, by the way, we found a Forerunner artifact a few miles into the Dark Zone. Uh, Dark Zone? Basically the Covenant Central Planning Site. I found out that that artifact is the fine line between the future of mankind and the destruction of the galaxy. They're gonna use it to teleport to Halo, and once Halo's activated, it's too late for humanity. Oh, thanks for telling us we have to save the universe, man. Yeah, great timing. What we're proposing is that we use your resources that you have over here while we try formulate a plan. Fine by me. Only two rules. One, you fight for me now. Always be alert with that Corvette lurking. Two, control your robot. I can live with that. You're free to anything on the ship except the computers. Not that we have anything to hide, 
but those operate functions of a ship that might be dangerous to tamper with. Hey, buddy. You all right? Everything is running smoothly. I know the captain got to you, alright? But you can't go around acting like that. I'm your squad leader, so you represent me, alright? Understandable. If that happens again, as much as I hate it, there will be consequences. Now come on, let's go think of a plan. So guys, any ideas? Saving the universe seems a lot easier on TV. If this facility had an orbital laser and we aimed it precisely at the artifact, it would get the job done. That would be kinda hard when your resources are all broken down parts on an old space station. But when you're being attacked for a week straight, quality starts to deteriorate. Get them! Move along. Nothing to see here. That was quite the wake-up call. When you're constantly being attacked as much as us, your guard's up 24-7. No room for error. How do you mistake us for elites? No resemblance at Wait, all. Wait, you three look familiar. Alpha Squad of Delta UNSC. You guys are alive! Last time I checked. Yeah. But the Admiral said you three were missing in action. Oh please, he knew we were up here the whole time. Is that Bone? <laughs> you look slightly different from the last time I saw you. My memory doesn't recognize you three. Jonathan D404. That's Sam D125 and Veronica D305. Hold up, hold up. I'm still trying to figure out this whole Admiral situation. You would want to figure that out, wouldn't you? Seriously, John? You're starting this again? It is getting quite old. Even I remember this. I I don't follow. It's the Jonathan versus Thomas rivalry. Didn't think he'd hold on to it for this long. After being completed. Four Spartans have been chosen to participate in one final challenge to determine which squad will lead. But in other news, progress on the B-O-N-E project is exceptional. Our Honorable Admiral has stated that Bone can now perform four times as well as a Spartan. Field tests have confirmed this, and the project is even gaining investors. Admiral Donald believes that with Bone we may be able to replace soldiers on the battlefield, thus preventing any more UNSC casualties in the war. The project will, however, need at least two more years to be completed. Only time will tell if Bone will turn it to the war. But we are all very confident. You seem pretty intrigued, John. Is something wrong? Now that you mention it, Smith, yes. Yes, something is wrong. Care to elaborate? Explain to me why we need this... this thing? That project is the future of war. It's here to help us. <laughs> What's so funny? It's funny that this is supposed to help us with war, when for the past three years all we've been doing is running the same simulations. Exactly. John, these simulations prepare us for war, and when war comes, 
the project will be ready to fight alongside us. Are you serious? Do you doubt your Spartan abilities that much? What's the point of even being one if you're going to think that way? Hey, Sam. What's up, V? Just looking for my brother. You know where he is? Um. He went outside again, didn't he? You didn't hear it from me. Veronica, don't you have an exam right now? Don't give me that exam crap. You know what'll happen if you're caught outside. I don't care. It's better than being brainwashed in there. What's your deal? I don't know, V. Just something doesn't feel right anymore. All I want to do is just lead a squad and protect you. Why are you letting Thomas get to you so much? Veronica, we're Spartans. We're put through all this crap and he thinks it's alright that some microwave can come in and do the job for us? Time moves forward, John. Things change. We're just supposed to do as we're told to. It's not so much the robot, but the fact that they're slowly trying to get rid of us. Doesn't anyone realize that? John, I know. It doesn't feel right, but there's not much else we can do about it. Get some rest. Why us? D-404. I hope you're ready for the final challenge tomorrow. Of course, sir. I heard that you doubt my intentions. I don't think that's too wise, Jonathan. I have never doubted you, sir. That's what I thought you'd say. See you at your exam tomorrow. Three minutes. You guys seem quiet. Because we already know you're going to win. You don't know that. When the Admiral lets you win every challenge, it's pretty obvious. I'm sure that's not true. We all have a fair shot at this. 30 seconds. Good luck, everyone. As you all know, this will be your final challenge of training. All of the other Spartans have finished and are ready to be assigned, but we need our squad leaders. Tyler, D-077. Thomas, D-179. Jonathan, D-404. And David, D-617. These Spartans have proven to be the best leaders we have. Squads have already been chosen to accommodate the results of this challenge. I will not let you screw me over this time, O'Donnell. The Colonel, what is the challenge? See those Mark III training bots? Well, they won't be fighting those. They'll be fighting live elites. 
Good luck, Spartans. Are you crazy? Just letting elites run wild in here? You probably think he'd be dead after that, but no. The elites don't know this, but their weapons have been altered to be non-lethal. Now you tell us! Just you and me, John. I think, I think it's, it's time, time to, to mix, mix things, things up, up a bit. Finally leave. Whoever kills it will win this challenge. John, it's coming right at you. Winner, D179. <laughs> That's not fair. Not fair. You knew that panel was movable, and would raise when you entered close proximity. No, it was the Admiral, because he knew I didn't trust him. Jonathan, wait! <laughs> Thomas, can you believe that guy?
Thomas? Veronica, can you please excuse us? I'd like to talk to Jonathan. Well, I don't... Go. It's fine. Alright. Over the last few days, things haven't been exactly perfect. It's like after the Admiral died, his name kept popping up more and more. As a leader, I can accept when I'm wrong. This time, it just took me a little longer to accept it. Jonathan, you are the better squad leader. And I can admit information about Delta UNSC doesn't add up anymore. <laughs> what? What's so funny? For a second I thought you were about to beat the hell out of me. Hey Sam. Yo. If we leave this grav shield, whoa. Yeah, you can hang out there. Just don't fall. It's a long way down. You might be able to see what the corvette is up to if you angle to the left. This is awesome. Everyone, brace yourself! Firing. We're under attack! To battle stations! It is bound to happen sooner or later. D-179, meet up with your squad to proceed to Hangar Base 6. Keep those Kobe's out. Understood. They're trying to breach. Repel them from the source. Two attacks back to back? Something's not right. We can focus on that after we get rid of them. You're right. Where are we headed? Hangar Base 6. Map downloaded. Follow me. 